Aston Villa FC. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Aston Villa Football Club, also known as The Villa and The Villains, is an English professional football club based in Aston, Birmingham, who currently play in the Premier League. The club was founded in 1874 and have played at their current home ground, Villa Park, since 1897. Aston Villa were founding members of the Football League in 1888 and the Premier League in 1992. The club was floated by the previous owner and chairman, Doug Ellis, but in 2006, full control of the club was acquired by Randy Lerner. They are one of the oldest and most successful football clubs in England, having won the First Division Championship seven times and the FA Cup seven times. Villa are also one of only four English clubs to win the European Cup, which they did in 1982. Aston Villa is the fourth most successful club in English football history, having won 21 major honours. They have a long-standing and fierce rivalry with local rivals Birmingham City, although West Bromwich Albion is actually the closest professional football club. The Birmingham Derby, also known as the Second City Derby, between Aston Villa and Birmingham City, has been played since 1879. Section 1. History. For more details on this topic, see the articles entitled History of Aston Villa 1874-1966 and History of Aston Villa 1967-present. to present. To see more information on Villa's 1982 success, see the article entitled European Cup 1981-82. Aston Villa Football Club were formed in March 1874 by members of the Villa Cross Wesleyan Chapel in Aston, which is now part of Birmingham. The four founders of Aston Villa were Jack Hughes, Frederick Matthews, Walter Price and William Scattergood. Aston Villa's first match was against the local Aston Brook St Mary's rugby team. As a condition of the match, the Villa side had to agree to play the first half under rugby rules and the second half under football rules. Villa quickly became one of the best teams in the Midlands, winning their first honour, the Birmingham Senior Cup, in 1880 under the captaincy of Scotsman George Ramsey. The club won its first FA Cup in 1887, with Captain Archie Hunter becoming one of the game's first household names. Aston Villa were one of the dozen teams that competed in the inaugural Football League in 1888, with one of the club's directors, William McGregor, being the league's founder. Aston Villa emerged as the most successful English club of the Victorian era, with numerous league titles and FA Cup wins. In 1897, the year Villa won the double, they moved into their present home, the Aston Lower Grounds. The name of Villa Park came about through fan usage, and no official declaration was made that listed the name as Villa Park. Aston Villa won their sixth FA Cup in 1920. Soon after, though, the club began a slow decline that led to Villa, at the time one of the most famous and successful clubs in world football, being relegated in 1936 for the first time to the second division. This was largely due to a dismal defensive record, though, as they conceded 110 goals, seven of them coming from Arsenal's Ted Drake in an infamous 1-7 defeat at Villa Park. As with all English clubs, the Second World War brought about the loss of seven seasons, and several careers were brought to a premature end by the conflict. Aston Villa went about rebuilding the team under the guidance of former player Alex Massey for the remainder of the 1940s. Aston Villa's first trophy for 37 years came in the 1956-57 season, which saw them go on an unexpected FA Cup run that would culminate in them defeating the Busby Babes of Manchester United in the final. The team were relegated, though, two seasons later, in 1958-59, and a complacency had set in at Villa Park. This was soon vanquished, though, as Villa returned to the top flight in 1960 as second division champions, and the following season Villa won the inaugural League Cup. The late 1960s saw a period of turmoil at the club, with fan pressure leading to a takeover and managerial changes. This started with Villa being relegated for the third time, under manager Dick Taylor, in 1967. The following season, the fans called for the board to resign, as Villa finished 16th in the second division. With mounting debts and Villa lying at the bottom of Division 2, the board sacked Cummings, the manager brought in to replace Taylor, and within weeks the entire board resigned due to overwhelming pressure from fans. 
After much speculation, control of the club was bought by London financier Pat Matthews, who also brought in Doug Ellis as chairman. New ownership, though, could not prevent Villa being relegated to the third division for the first time at the end of the 1969-70 season. In the 1971-72 season, they returned to the second division as champions with a record 70 points. In 1973, Ron Saunders was appointed manager, and by 1977, he had taken them back into the first division and Europe. Villa were back amongst the elite, and they continued to have much success under Saunders, winning the league in the 1980-81 season. To the surprise of commentators and fans, Saunders quit halfway through the 1981-82 season after falling out with the chairman, with Villa in the quarter-final of the European Cup. He was replaced by his softly spoken assistant manager Tony Barton, who guided them to a 1-0 victory over Bayern Munich in the European Cup final in Rotterdam. Villa remains to this day one of only four English teams to have won the European Cup, along with Liverpool, Manchester United and Nottingham Forest. This marked a pinnacle though, and Villa declined for most of the 1980s, culminating in relegation in 1987. This was followed by promotion the following year and a second place in the Football League in 1989. Villa were one of the founding members of the Premier League in 1992 and finished runners-up to Manchester United in the inaugural season. For the rest of the 90s though, Villa went through three different managers and their league positions were inconsistent, although they did win two league cups. Villa reached the FA Cup final in 2000 for the first time since 1957 but lost 1-0 to Chelsea in the last game to be played at the old Wembley Stadium. Once again, Villa's league position began to fluctuate under several different managers, and things came to a head in the summer of 2006, when David O'Leary left under acrimonious circumstances. Martin O'Neill soon arrived, though, to jubilant scenes. After 23 years as chairman and single biggest shareholder, approximately 38%, Doug Ellis finally decided to sell his stake in Aston Villa to Randy Lerner, the owner of NFL franchise the Cleveland Browns. The arrival of a new owner and manager marked the start of a new period of optimism at Villa Park, and sweeping changes occurred throughout the club, including a new crest, a new kit sponsor, and team changes expected in the summer of 2007. Section 2. Club Colours and Crest the club colours are claret shirt with sky blue sleeves, white shorts with claret and blue trim, and sky blue socks with claret and white trim. They were the original wearers of these famous colours, and other teams, notably West Ham, Burnley and Scunthorpe, adopted the same colours. Villa's colours at the outset were generally comprised of plain shirts, white, grey or a shade of blue, with either white or black shorts. For a few years after that, 1877 to 1879, the team wore several different kits, from all white, blue and black, red and blue, to plain green. By 1880, black jerseys with a red lion embroidered on the chest were introduced by William McGregor. This remained the first choice strip for six years. On Monday the 8th of November 1886, an entry in the club's official minute book states, 1. Proposed and seconded that the colours be chocolate and sky blue shirts, and that we order two dozen. 2. Proposed and seconded that Mr McGregor be requested to supply them at the lowest quotation. The chocolate colour later became claret. Nobody is quite sure why claret and blue became the club's adopted colours. The main theory surrounding the colours suggests that with the Scottish influence of characters such as George Ramsay and William McGregor, the kit was created from the combination of the maroon of hearts and the blue of rangers, with the Scottish lion rampant included in the badge. A new crest was revealed on the 2nd of May 2007 for the 2007-2008 season and beyond. The new crest includes a star to represent the European Cup win in 1982 and has a light blue background behind Villa's lion rampant. The traditional motto prepared remains in the crest and the name Aston Villa has been shortened to AVFC, FC having been omitted from the previous crest. Randy Lerner had got fans to help with the design of the crest. The three kits that carry the new crest were unveiled on the 17th of July 2007 in the mailbox, Birmingham. Section 3. Stadium. See also the main article entitled Villa Park. Aston Villa's current home venue is Villa Park, which is a UEFA four-star rated stadium, having previously played at Aston Park, 1874-1876, and Perry Bar, 1876-1897. 
Villa Park has hosted 16 England internationals at senior level, the first in 1899 and the most recent in 2005. Thus, it was the first English ground to stage international football in three different centuries. Villa Park is the most used stadium in FA Cup semi-final history, having hosted 55 semi-finals. The club have planning permission to extend the North Stand. This will involve the filling in of the corners to either side of the North Stand. If and when completed, the capacity of Villa Park will be increased to approximately 51,000. The current training ground is located at Bodymore Heath in North Warwickshire, the site for which was purchased by former Aston Villa chairman Doug Ellis in the early 1970s from a local farmer. Although Bodymore Heath was state-of-the-art in the 1970s, by the late 1990s the facilities had started to look dated. In November 2005, Ellis and Aston Villa PLC announced a £13 million sterling redevelopment of Bodymore in two phases, which it is said will bring the now antiquated facilities up to the standard of the best in the world. The new training ground was officially unveiled on the 6th of May 2007 by current manager Martin O'Neill, current team captain Gareth Barry and 1982 European Cup winning team captain Dennis Mortimer, with the Aston Villa squad moving in for the 2007-2008 season. Section 4. Club Ownership The first shares in the club were issued towards the end of the 19th century as a result of legislation that was intended to codify the growing numbers of professional teams and players in the association football leagues. FA teams were required to distribute shares to investors as a way of facilitating trading amongst the teams without implicating the FA itself. This trading continued for much of the 20th century until Doug Ellis started buying up many of the shares in the 1960s. He was the chairman and substantial shareholder of Aston Villa FC from 1968 to 1975 and the majority shareholder from 1982 to 2006. The club was floated on the London Stock Exchange in 1996 and the share price fluctuated in the 10 years after the flotation. In 2006, it was announced that several consortia and individuals were considering bids for Aston Villa. On the 14th of August 2006, it was confirmed that Randy Lerner had reached an agreement of £62.6 .6 million sterling with Aston Villa for a takeover of the club. A statement released on the 25th of August to the London Stock Exchange announced that Lerner had secured 59.69% of Villa shares, making him the majority shareholder. He also appointed himself chairman of the club. In Ellis's last year in charge, Villa lost £8.2 million sterling before tax, compared with a £3 million sterling profit the previous year, and income had fallen from £51.6 million sterling to £49 million sterling. Randy Lerner took full control on the 18th of September, as he had 89.69% of the share. On the 19th of September 2006, Aston Villa PLC Executive Chairman Doug Ellis and his board resigned to be replaced with a new board headed by Lerner. Board Officials Name Randy Lerner Country of Origin United States Role Chairman Richard Fitzgerald England Chief Executive Charles Krulak United States Non-Executive Director Bob Kane, United States, Non-Executive Director Michael Martin, United States, Non-Executive Director Section 5, Supporters See also the article entitled Birmingham Derby The new Chief Executive, Richard Fitzgerald, has stated that the ethnicity of the supporters is currently 98% white the new regime is aiming to improve the support from amongst ethnic minorities in the next few years. A number of organisations have been set up to support the local community, including Aston Pride. A Villa in the Community programme has also been set up to encourage support amongst young people in the region. The new owners have also initiated several surveys aimed at gaining the opinions of Villa fans and to involve them in the decision-making process. Meetings also occur every three months, where supporters are invited by ballot and are invited to ask questions to the board. Like many English football clubs, Aston Villa has had several hooligan firms associated with it. Villa Youth, Steamers, Villa Hardcore and the Sea Crew, the latter being very active during the 1970s and 1980s. As can be seen across the whole of English football, the hooligan groups have now been marginalised. 
In 2004, several Villa firms were involved in a fight with Queen's Park Rangers fans outside Villa Park, in which a steward died. The main groupings of supporters can now be found in a number of domestic supporters clubs. This includes the official Aston Villa Supporters Club, which also has many smaller regional and international sections. There were several independent supporters clubs during the reign of Doug Ellis, but most of these disbanded after his retirement. The club's supporters also published fanzines, such as Heroes and Villains, and Hold Tenders in the Sky. The latter fanzine is named after a popular matchday chant that is predominantly sung in the Hold End. The use of the abbreviation ITSOTP in the shirt on the page is believed to have originated on Aston Villa message boards in relation to the transfer speculation that has become the norm during transfer windows. Aston Villa's arch rivals are Birmingham City, with games between the two clubs known as the Second City Derby. Today, Villa also enjoy less heated local rivalries with West Bromwich Albion, Wolverhampton Wanderers and Coventry City. Historically, though, West Bromwich Albion have been one of Villa's greatest rivals, a view highlighted in a fan survey conducted in 2003. The two teams contested three FA Cup finals in the late 19th century. Through the relegation of West Brom and Birmingham to the Championship in the 2005-2006 season, in the 2006-2007 Premiership season, Villa were the only Midlands club in that league. The nearest opposing team Villa faced during that season was Sheffield United, who played 62 miles away in South Yorkshire. For the 2007-2008 season, Villa will once again have a local derby after Birmingham were promoted on the 29th of April 2007. There will also be an East Midlands versus West Midlands fixture against Derby County. Section 6. In Popular Culture Many television programmes have included references to Aston Villa over the past few decades. In the sitcom Porridge, the character Lenny Godber is a Villa supporter. In the first episode of Yes Minister, Jim Hacker MP says he needs to get off early to watch Aston Villa play. However, in a later episode, he launches a campaign to save his local team, the fictional Aston Wanderers. During episodes of The Fast Show, Villa supporter Mark Williams is regularly pictured behaving antisocially while wearing a shirt of rival club Birmingham City so as to further damage their reputation. When filming began on Dad's Army, Villa fan Ian Lavender was allowed to choose Frank Pike's scarf from an array in the BBC wardrobe. He chose a claret and blue one, Aston Villa's colours. Aston Villa have also featured on several occasions in prose. Joseph Gallivan's book Oi Ref is about a referee who is a Villa fan who conspires to turn an FA Cup semi-final in his team's favour. Stanley Woolley, a character in Derek Robinson's Booker shortlisted novel Goshawk Squadron, is an Aston Villa fan and names a pre-war starting 11 Villa side. Together with the Oval, Villa Park is referenced by the poet Philip Larkin in his poem about the First World War, MCMXIV. A French band has named itself Aston Villa after the football club. Section 7. Statistics See also the main article entitled Aston Villa FC Statistics. To date, Aston Villa have spent 98 seasons in the top flight. The only club to have spent longer in the top flight is Everton with 105 seasons. As a result, Aston Villa versus Everton is the most played fixture in English top flight football. Aston Villa is one of an elite group of seven clubs that has played in every Premiership season. They are Arsenal, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. Aston Villa is sixth in the all-time FA Premier League table. Aston Villa is the fourth most successful club in English football history, having won 21 major honours. Aston Villa currently holds the record number of league goals scored by any team in the English top flight. 128 goals were scored in the 1930-31 season. Villa legend Archie Hunter became the first player to score in every round of the FA Cup in Villa's victorious 1887 campaign. Villa's longest unbeaten home run in the FA Cup spanned 13 years and 19 games from 1888 to 1901. Aston Villa are one of four English teams that have won the European Champions Cup. The other three are Liverpool, Manchester United and Nottingham Forest. They did so on the 26th of May 1982 in Rotterdam, beating Bayern Munich 1-0 thanks to Peter Wyde's goal. Villa became the first club ever to beat Bayern Munich in a final. Section 8. Club Honours 
see also the honours section of the Aston Villa FC statistics article. Aston Villa have won European and domestic league honours. The club's last major honour was in 1996, when they won the League Cup. The youth team, however, won the FA Youth Cup in 2002. European UEFA Champions League winners, former European Cup, won 1982. European Super Cup winners, won 1982-83 season. Intertoto Cup winners, won 2001. Domestic League titles First Division Champions, 7 1893-94 1895 96, 1896 97, 1898 99, 1899 1900, 1909 10, and 1981 seasons. 2nd Division Champions 2 1937-38 and 1959-60 seasons. 3rd Division Champions 1 1971-72 season. Cups FA Cup winners, 7, 1887, 1895, 1897, 1905, 1913, 1920, and 1957. League Cup winners, 5, 1961, 1975, 1977, 1994, and 1996. Charity Shield winners, 1, 1981, shared. Youth Cups FA Youth Cup winners 3 1972, 1980 and 2002 Section 9 Players Current Squad As of 1st of September 2007 Squad Number 1 Player Thomas Sorensen Position Goalkeeper Country of Origin Denmark Number 3. Wilfred Balmer. Defender. Netherlands. Number 4. Olof Melberg. Vice Captain. Defender. Sweden. Number 5. Martin Larsson. Defender. Denmark. Number 6. Gareth Barry. Captain. Midfielder. England. Number 7. Ashley Young. Midfielder. England. Number 8. Luke Moore. Forward. England. Number 9. Marlon Harewood. Forward. England. Number 10. John Carew. Forward. Norway. Number 11. Gabriel Agbon Lahore. Forward. England. Number 13. Stuart Taylor. Goalkeeper. England. Number 16. Zap Knight. Defender. England. Number 19. Stilian Petrov. Midfielder. Bulgaria. Number 20. Nigel Rio Coker. Midfielder. England. Number 21. Gary Cahill. Defender. England. Number 22. Scott Carson. Goalkeeper, England, on loan from Liverpool. Number 23, Patrick Berger, midfielder, Czech Republic. Number 26, Craig Gardner, midfielder, England. Number 27, Isaiah Osborne, midfielder, England. Number 28, Sean Maloney, forward. Scotland. Number 29. Stephen O'Halloran. Defender. Republic of Ireland. No squad number. Curtis Davis. Defender. England. On loan from West Brom. No squad number. Mustafa Salipu. Midfielder. Togo. For recent transfers, see the article entitled List of English Football Transfers 2007-2008. For the team's reserve, see the article entitled Aston Villa Reserves. 
For a list of the more notable players and of the team's past captains, see the article entitled List of Aston Villa FC Players. For a list of all past and present players, see the category Aston Villa FC Players. Section 10. Notable Players. See also the main article entitled List of Aston Villa FC Players. There have been many players that can be called notable throughout Aston Villa's history. These can be classified and recorded in several forms. The Hall of Fames and PFA Players of the Year are recorded here. For all players with over 100 appearances for Aston Villa, see the article entitled List of Aston Villa FC Players. Aston Villa Hall of Fame. This was voted for by fans, and to this date there has been one induction of 12 players in 2006. William McGregor, Scotland. George Ramsey, Scotland. Trevor Ford, Wales. Eric Horton, England. Peter McParland, Northern Ireland. Charlie Aitken, Scotland. Brian Little, England. Ron Saunders, England. Peter Wyde, England. Dennis Mortimer, England. Gordon Cowans, England. Paul McGrath, Republic of Ireland. Aston Villa's One Club Men. A one club man is a term used to describe a football player who has played his entire professional career with only one club. In the strictest definition, one club men are rare in football due to the tendency of mostly younger players to move for financial reasons or mostly older players to play at a lower level if the club is relegated, which is the norm in most countries, in order to prolong their careers. One club men often become club captain at some point in their career. Charlie Aitken, Scotland. Ernie Callaghan, England. Johnny Dixon, England. Billy George, England. Harry Parks, England. Billy Walker, England. PFA Players Player of the Year. At the end of every English football season, the members of the PFA, the Players' Union, vote on which of its members has played the best football in the previous year. As the award is voted on by the players, it is often viewed as the premier individual honour given in domestic English football, especially by the players themselves. 1977, Andy Gray, Scotland. 1990, David Platt, England. 1993, Paul McGrath, Republic of Ireland. PFA Young Player of the Year The PFA Young Player of the Year is awarded at the end of every English football season by the members of the Professional Footballers Association, the Players' Union. All professional footballers, regardless of nationality, under the age of 23, playing in the English leagues, are eligible for the award. The award is the most prestigious honour available specifically to young footballers, given in England. 1977, Andy Gray, Scotland 1981, Gary Shaw, England. Football League 100 Legends The Football League 100 Legends is a list of 100 legendary football players produced by the Football League in 1998 to celebrate the 100th season of league football. Danny Blanchflower, Northern Ireland. Trevor Ford, Wales. Archie Hunter, Scotland. Sam Hardy, England. Paul McGrath, Republic of Ireland, Peter Schmeichel, Denmark, Clem Stevenson, England. English Football Hall of Fame The Hall of Fame is housed at the National Football Museum in Preston, England. The hall aims to celebrate and highlight the achievement of top English footballers and footballers who have played in England. Danny Blanchflower, Northern Ireland, was inducted in 2003. Aston Villa have provided more England internationals than any other club, 64 to date. Section 11. Management. Current management and coaching staff, as of 28th of June 2007. Name. Martin O'Neill. Country of origin. Northern Ireland. Role. Manager. John Robertson. Scotland. Assistant manager. Steve Walford, England, first team coach. Kevin MacDonald, Scotland, reserve team coach. 
Seamus McDonough, Republic of Ireland, goalkeeping coach, Gordon Cowans, England, head youth team coach, Tony McAndrew, Scotland, youth team coach, Ian Storey Moore, England, chief scout, Alan Smith, England, physiotherapist, Stuart Walker, England, physiotherapist. Notable managers. For more details on this topic, see the article entitled List of Aston Villa Managers. Name, George Ramsey. Country of origin, Scotland. Period, from August 1884 to May 1926. Honours, six FA Cups, six Division I Championships. Jimmy Hogan, England. November 1936 to September 1939. Played 124. Won 57. Drawn 41. Lost 26. Win percentage 45.97%. Honours Division 2 champions. Eric Horton, England. September 1953 to November 1958. Played 250. Won 88. Drawn, 97. Lost, 65. Win percentage, 35.2%. Honours, FA Cup winner. Joe Mercer, England. December 1958 to July 1964. Played, 282. Won, 120. Drawn, 99. Lost, 63. Win percentage, 42.55%. Honours, Division 2 champions and League Cup winner. Ron Saunders, England, June 1974 to February 1982. Played 353, won 157, drawn 98, lost 98, win percentage 44.76%. Honours, two League Cups, Division 1 champions, and also in 2006 was inducted into the Aston Villa Hall of Fame. Tony Barton, England, February 1982 to June 1984. Played 130, won 58, drawn 48, lost 24. Win percentage 44.62%. Honours, European Cup and European Super Cup. Josef Penglos. Slovakia, July 1990 to May 1991. Played 49, won 16, drawn 18, lost 15, win percentage 32.65%. First manager not from Britain or Ireland to take charge of a top flight club in England. Ron Atkinson, England, July 1991 to November 1994. Played 178, won 77, drawn 56, lost 45, win percentage 43.25%. Honours, League Cup winner. Brian Little, England, November 1994 to February 1998. Played 164, won 68, drawn 51, lost 45, win percentage 41.46%. Honours, League Cup winner, and also in 2006 was inducted into the Aston Villa Hall of Fame. John Gregory, England, February 1998 to January 2002. Played, 190, won, 82, drawn, 56, lost, 52. Win percentage, 43.15%. Honours, Intertoto Cup winner. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU free documentation license available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.